Today we are doing something that we have absolutely zero experience in. We are shopping for baby stuff. Mexico has given us so much over the last few years. Whenever we started Contado Coffee, we wanted to not only bring fresh Mexican coffee to the U.S., but to be able to use Contado Coffee as a platform for giving back. So for every Contado Coffee Club member, we are contributing $1 each month directly to the school project at Finca Las Chicharras. That means for every single purchase of coffee, you are contributing directly back to the farmers and their families who literally had a hand in picking your coffee beans. And that is truly special. The school project at the farm provides a safe environment for kids to learn, play, and grow while their parents work out on the farm. No, 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 no. <laughs> So we've been talking directly with the director and uh, director of the farm and of the school project yep. uh, to see exactly uh, what the kids and what the school would need at Finca Las Chicharras. Yep, and we have a very specific yes. list today. A megaphone, educational games for toddlers, books for toddlers. We need some things that are for age zero to two. Fans, shapes games, musical instruments, a glow, magnifying glass, and a human skeleton. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what all we can get. We're going to go into Woolworth. Yes, they still have the Woolworths. And stay out of the Woolworth. Yeah. In Mexico. At the end of the video, we're gonna talk about a few things that were on the list that we weren't gonna be, we knew we weren't gonna be yeah. able to get uh, here today. So stick around till then. We wanna see if there's a way that we can get some of those things eventually with yeah. your help, but it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. All right, they didn't have any like big, big carts. So we've got the little small ones. I don't think these, I'm hoping these aren't big enough, but let's see how much stuff we can fit in here. Off to a great start. One of the things I put on the list directly from the teacher is papetes con letras. Bam, I didn't even add it to the list because I thought, well, that's a really specific thing. We're probably not gonna be able to find it. Here we are. Here it is. Should we get one or two? Maybe I don't know. two. Maybe two. Yeah. Like a little puzzle? Yeah. Found that's perfect. Yeah, it's like a little tiny thing. It says ages three and up, but I think those will be good. Vowels. Perfect. A, E, I, O, U. And sometimes Y. <laughs> Crayones, Yumbo. It smells like childhood, doesn't it? It does. These are like bigger, which I think are easier for like younger kids to grab. Or for me, I really. I hope we get some good artwork. <laughs> that would be awesome. How many should we get? These are trying. Huh. Nah. That seems confusing. Yeah. Let's start with three. All right. I don't know if it's a terror. This is. We don't have kids. The teacher might hate us. I don't know if it's a terrible idea to get paint for kids, but it seems like what could go wrong, right? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Now we're in business. Hey, musical instruments is on the list. That was on the list. This is awesome. What are these? Are you making fun of the way I say it? Just how do you say it? Crowns. Wait. Crowns. Crowns? Crowns. Get out of here. Crayons. No, crowns. They're not, it's crown is C-R-O-W-N. Do you you need to play with the letter? You need to play with the letter blocks. Crowns, it's crayons. <laughs> crowns. <laughs> For me, <laughs> kinetic sand. I don't know. It says the one and only, and kinetic. You gotta get it's kinda it. Kind of in the name. And it's two for one. And it's two for one, so I think we should get a lot. Like how many? Maybe ten. Yeah, that's good. It's exciting and upsetting all at one time. We only spent $110, which is only a very small percentage of the money that you guys 
have, are sending to the students at Finca Las Chicharras, which means we gotta go things. spend some more money. We have to spend more money, we get to shop more, and I think this is gonna make an even bigger impact on these students than I ever imagined. Like Hillary said, we barely made a dent. So we're gonna go to Waldo's, a dollar store. I think they're gonna have some, maybe uh, like kids art stuff, coloring books, workbooks, that type of thing. And then maybe a papeleria to look at more, more stuff like that. So let's see what we can find here. It's an adventure for us, because again, we definitely don't ever shop for stuff like this. Who's ready to color? <laughs> Balls. We need to get a, uh, a pump though, they don't have one here. We'll find one somewhere, that way we can deflate it to send it and then we'll send them the pump, that way they can fill them up. Funny thing, we're in a dollar store and my brain just was thinking in English, I guess, it was thinking American. I was thinking these were a dollar and I thought, that is a bargain, we're about to get a hundred of these things. We'll still get several, but they're about five dollars instead of, I guess we'll get different colors. They're about five dollars instead of a dollar. Still a pretty good deal, I think, I don't know. I mean. Did, uh, did you get it all to fit? Uh, no, I couldn't. I tried my best, but... It's pretty close. Pretty close. You feel like Santa Claus? No, I feel like when I get to the airport and I have to unpack my bag in front of everyone, that's more like what I feel like right now. Why? Is it because... because it's busy in here? Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a lot of people. Okay. We got the stuff sent, but amigos, we are not done. We have a little bit left. Really, I feel like this is the fun stuff we get to send. Stuff that was too big to send via DHL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be good. So it turns out that shopping for kids stuff was uh, pretty difficult it for us. It was super challenging, especially in Spanish. Yeah, and having none ever never having never done it before, we didn't really know where to go. Actually, comment below. Let us know, like. Next time we, we buy stuff like this. Yeah, like can uh, six month old kids do puzzles? Yes, right? I don't know. We just <laughs> went off we just <laughs> We just they can they can full, com, form complete sentences, right? I can't. Better than <laughs> <laughs> um, there were some things on the list that we knew we weren't gonna be able to find at a store, or rather we knew we weren't going to be able to affordably Ship. Ship. So what else yeah. is on the list that we did not get that we wanted to get? So we went to online and here we have Banda en una caja. That was one of the things. It's literally called Banda en una caja. Yes, they wanted uh, some... Musical uh, instruments like percussion and I think this one has eight or ten pieces and so we actually got two of them because I feel like I just imagine like the teacher leading this like big music class. We also got um, xylophones, a couple of those mm -hmm. to go with it. Um, we got some magnifying glasses. Yep. This is a set of six. This was specific, a specific request from the teacher, which is pretty cool. I feel like that's perfect for like science. Mm -hmm. um, a fan. We only got one fan. Not sure. It is a pretty big space, but I'm hopeful that the way it's sort of set up is that there's like a almost like a picnic table where the kiddos do workbooks and things like that. And I think that's where they actually hold like the actual lesson. Um, and I'm hoping that the fan will be perfect in in that space where right. eating or actually working together as a team. I think a fan is necessary in that space. Um, the next thing that the teacher wanted was a globe. Mm -hmm. We did find one with the countries and the capitals in Spanish. It took a little bit of time, but we did find one in Spanish. Uh, Greg had the idea to get an inflatable one mm -hmm. so that they can like, I don't know, throw it around the room. Yeah. It doubles as a ball. <laughs> and last but not least. This one I feel like I'm most excited about. What does every classroom in Mexico need? A speaker, apparently. A speaker, of course. This one is the, I think the number one, the number one seller of speakers. And um, we are super excited. I cannot. I cannot wait for all this stuff to I know, arrive. I'm so, like, I wish we could be there whenever the, yes. the kids open their box 
of toys. Actually, yeah. at DHL, there was a little kid in line who was watching us stuff the boxes, and he like he looked excited and made me excited thinking of the kids being yeah. excited. And I want to reiterate, if we haven't done already, that is thanks to you, yeah. not thanks to us at all. We are simply the middlemen. We got to uh, do the fun part, middle going people, shopping. Exactly. And, I don't know. We really wanted to just spread the joy of giving we wanted to bring you guys along yep. for that process instead of just you know greg and i could have done it by ourselves but i feel like uh you guys are the ones who have offered this contribution yep. this support and we just wanted to bring you guys along for the fun again a huge huge thank you uh to all of our contolo coffee club members for yes. making this possible now there are some items on the list uh, that we were not able to get yep. uh, yet. I think after, I think with a few months of saving, we will be able to make this school uh -huh. so cool. And yeah. hopefully, hopefully at the end of this year, the beginning of next year, whenever we visit the farm again, we can maybe kind of start this project. Uh, a few of the things on the list that really weren't possible now that's yeah. on our dream list, and email us at, con at contact at contolocoffee.com yep. um, if you're interested in helping us make this possible. Yeah. They want some bigger items like a sandbox, yep. um, a basketball court. Yep. Um, Which Greg and I have this idea. If you've, if you've been to Mexico, you've probably seen this in a lot of small towns. It's sort of a covered multi-use pavilion, yep. if you will. So it's outside, so it's protected from the sun and the rain. Kids play basketball there, you can play soccer there, we can get a soccer goal. Um, there's often picnic tables so you can enjoy meals outside yes. without, you know, without being under the direct sunlight. So that is our goal. They also need a little hand washing station a hand for washing the little station, kiddos. A water fountain. Um, a water fountain. Um, a human a, skeleton, which yeah. was surprisingly around a thousand US dollars. Yeah, I don't know. That seemed like a not a good deal at yeah. all. Yeah. Um, so there are some bigger yeah. things. We like have bigger gym. projects in the works. Monkey bars or something. Monkey bars. Like that. Yeah, monkey bars. Uh, yeah. So we we really hope that over the years we can make yes. this school like a an amazing school for the kids, an amazing experience. Uniforms. They also uniforms, really want uniforms, clothes, yeah. all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, and if maybe you have some ideas, feel free to get in yeah. touch with us and see if we can make it possible. Um, again, a huge thank you yes. to you all. This fills my heart. Like this is the funnest part so far yeah. of, of running Contolo Coffee is, is being able to do special projects like yeah. this. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Yes. I wish we could get this kids reactions whenever they get their toys and books and kinetic sand and, yeah. and all that. We'll so. try to get some videos. Yes. Videos and pictures. We'll keep in touch with you guys on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys again <laughs> so much. And until next time. Have less, do more, be more. I knew I was forgetting something. We forgot to buy the stuff from Amazon. Yeah, it's in the car. <laughs> it was only in the car. We didn't buy it. I'm going to need the credit card. <laughs>